Crossing the Line with M. William Phelps is back. Enjoy these excerpts from this week's episode. And I want to say right up front here that I will have a bona fide maniac, <laughs> or rather mainer, with a totally main podcast called Murder She Told as my guest this week. And just over the main border on the edge of what is a postcard perfect coastal area, Kittery, Maine. Reeves Johnson is 31 years old in February 1983. In a photo from the previous year, Reeves has that rocker look made famous in the 1970s. You know, Grand Funk Railroad, the Doobie Brothers, or maybe more so Motorhead's Lemmy. I was curious about how the investigation unfolded over the first few weeks and what they found when they began looking at Reeves' bank account and his general activity. The police do a wellness check on his cabin. They find it completely empty. And um, the interesting thing about it is that the door was ajar and the pipes were frozen. So we know that the cabin was cleaned out prior to this point, like a week prior, because there was a big snowstorm and there was no sign of any, like, you know, going in and out activity. So... And Sometime Barbara confronted first... him and he's like, she said, where's my son? You know, where's Reeves? And the man said, he's in an apartment in Portsmouth. I'll take you to him if you have a car. So she had a camera and she snaps a photo of him and they start to walk outside. And the second he gets outside, he took off running. And at that moment, Kemp had gone off to go grab a coffee. 